Hey, what's happening everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Sergeant Creole from Task Force 99 or Scar Squadron. So I did not read these comics, so I'm not 100% familiar with the characters. But when I saw a stormtrooper with a lightsaber, I said, yeah, I need one of those. And of course, it comes in the Lucasfilm Publishing style box. Got this cool picture of Luke and Creole battling. So I'm guessing this is sometime between A New Hope and Empire. He's got his Yavin Ceremony jacket on, but very cool picture. Star Wars up there, Sergeant Creole down there. And on the sides, you have this, Sergeant Creole, very nice picture, top, just more artwork. Yeah, it looks great. There's up, upside down. There's that shot. Yeah, pretty cool. He's got an SE-14R blaster pistol, which is kind of unusual to see a stormtrooper with that blaster, but it's a cool picture. Got this on the back. Yeah, that's awesome right there. Got some tiny print that no one reads, and then I have a barcode sticker over the barcode. And on the inside, you have this. And man, I'm going to miss this window. <laughs> yeah, you can see Creole. Just looking great. It's got an E-11 blaster, his lightsaber. Now, I'm pretty sure that's Plo Koon's hilt that they used. It looks kind of familiar, but yeah, it looks great. Got this over here and a short bio in several different languages. And I'll just read the bio real quick. It just says, Sergeant Creel, formerly undercover agent 5241, serves as the leader of an elite group of stormtroopers, Task Force 99, better known as Scar Squadron, under the direct command of Darth Vader. All right, I'm going to get Sergeant Creel open, and let's take a look at him. Okay, so here is Sergeant Creel out of the box, and I don't want to spend too much time on the figure. I mean, it's a stormtrooper on the new body, but there is some new little bits here and there that really take this figure to another level. Let's get a close look. The helmet, it's a stormtrooper helmet. It looks exactly like it's supposed to. As far as paint, I have a little bit of a whoopsie right there. It's kind of bugging me a little bit, but it's, it's okay. From a distance, you can't tell. But the rest of the paint looks great. The eyes mouth grill, all this in here, that, yeah, it looks nice. That's what the back looks like. It's a Stormtrooper helmet. From the neck down, it is the new body, but the chest is new, right? This is smooth, and this chest here, this overlay piece does not float, you know, like the other one, and that's nice. Now, the pauldron, it does float. It, it's, it's held on by his neck, and it does tend to move around, but it does look good. I think the Imperial symbol is very clean. It's a nice shade of orange, Got some nice detail in there. That's what the back looks like. It's sort of tucked up under his neck there. Yeah, the pauldron looks great. The shoulder bells are the same. So these pouches here, these can also float. These are not fixed anywhere. So these tend to slide around. I would be fine if these were glued down, you know, but you can slide them around. Same with this little data pad, okay? This can move around. So if this was glued down, it would be fine. I would not have a problem with it, but the blue is very nice. I think the straps on both look good. This little pouch looks nice. Nothing much going on in the right arm. It's just armor. The back, so he's got this little jet pack on. There's no paint on it anywhere, but the jets look good. All this detail in here looks fantastic. There's the back of him. The belt, so the belt is a little bit different. And I think it looks great. His belly looks very nice. All blacked out right there. I love that. Now, this holster, okay, right out of the box, this little strap right here was completely broken off. So I had to super glue that back, which is unfortunate, but it went back okay. I was kind of bummed about that, but the holster does look pretty good. This little pouch here can also move around. Okay, that's not fixed, okay, but you can sort of jam it up to his upper thigh and it stays put. And you have this pouch on this side that is kind of free. Okay, it's it's glued here and there. Okay, but it's nice that it can move, you know, gets out of the way of any leg movement. And then the legs are just stormtrooper legs. Okay, nothing much to speak of there, you know, just like the other one. But from head to toe, you know, all these added bits here, the pouches, the pauldron. It's a good looking trooper. And for side-by-side -side comparisons, I just grabbed just a straight-up, plain Stormtrooper on the new body. So as you see, Creel's chest is nice and smooth. This one has the quote-unquote pecs sculpted in. As far as the belly, it might be the same sculpt. It's just this one's blacked out. Same arms, just he has some added little bits there. Same legs, he's got this strap and this little pouch over there. If you turn him around, okay, Creel has the jetpack. And there's some extra pouches over here that aren't on the regular trooper. As far as helmets, the helmets are very, very similar. The colors, you know, like on the lines down below the, 
you know, like down here. It's a little different. Apart from that, it's the same figure, but they could not have chose a better body for Creel. And as far as articulation, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time, but you do have some side to side of the head, but the pauldron does want to you know, wiggle around with it. He still has a little bit of down, some pretty good up, and the tilt is still there. The arms, yeah, the shoulder pads just flex up, so they get up that far. They can rotate around. Now, of course, the shoulder pad wants to get deformed, you know, because it's on a little ring, so sometimes you have to manually put that back where it goes. These pouches, okay, this one just slid down. Like I said, if these were glued, it wouldn't bother me a bit, okay? They do tend to slide. Same with this little data pad. It wants to slide and rotate around. Yeah, but he's got some he's got some really good butterfly joints, and this thing wants to move around again. He's, yep, there it goes. Uh, stay put. Single elbows, and they both get past 90, which is just wonderful. He's got a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, up and down hinge on the right, side to side on the left, as far as midsection, swivel, a little bit of crunch, some very good back, and some very good side-to-side -side tilt. And as far as legs up, you know, you could rotate the thighs out. They get up that far. He has a swivel at the upper thigh. They go out pretty far. They don't, well, yeah, they go back to there. Single knees that get a little past 90. Swivel at the knee joint. Feet go down that far. They go up to there, and there is some swivel at the ankle. So as to be expected, the articulation on Creole is excellent. And as far as accessories that come with Sergeant Creel, there's the E11. Yeah, it's just black. There's no paint anywhere on it. You know, the silver that's there sometimes, it's not there, but the sculpt is very nice. I mean, it looks just like it's supposed to look. So yeah, just a standard E11 blaster. And as far as him holding this, and the hand is tight. Okay. Yeah, that goes in the hand very well. The trigger finger is right on the trigger, and I love that. And I think he looks very good holding that with one hand. It's very stable. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, that looks nice. And for two-handed aiming, yeah, this body is very good. So yeah, you can get the blaster low like that. And of course, using this new Stormtrooper body, you can get the blaster up here, and that looks very nice right there. And with these amazing butterfly joints, you could get the blaster even a little more forward. And yeah, I'm loving that. And even just at a relaxed stance, it looks great. But since Creel has a lightsaber, I will most likely just keep the blaster in the holster, and I hope my little glue repair holds. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's what that looks like holstered, and I like it. And this pouch just wants to slide everywhere. The data pad wants to slide. <laughs> yeah, I just want to point out real quick that if the blaster's in the holster, it does get in the way of left arm movement, so yeah, just be mindful of that. And there's the lightsaber that comes with Creole. Not much to say about it. I mean, it's just black and silver, and again, I'm pretty sure this is Plo Koon's hilt. If I'm wrong, comment below. I don't mind being corrected, but it looks like Plo Koon's hilt. Black and silver, that's about it in the way of detail. I mean, there's some sculpted detail there, but yeah, it's a little plain. The blade is a very nice shade of green. So yeah, I'm liking that, but yeah, that's what the saber looks like. And as far as him holding this, man, the right hand is super tight. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, all right, so he holds that very well in one hand. That is very stable. It's not going anywhere, and that's a nice shade of green. And you can get it in two hands, and these butterfly joints really help. You, know, you can see how that arm is just forward. Yeah, that really helps a lot getting two hands on this saber, and that is also a very good look. But I may just keep it in one hand, you know, just some sort of generic, I'm about to swing at something kind of pose. I'm going to go put him on the shelf, and let's see what he looks like there. And here we are. So as far as timeline, I just stuck him at the very end of the A New Hope section, and he looks very good on the shelf. The orange pauldron, the green saber really stand out. And speaking of standing, you can see how he scales. So he's a lot taller than Leia way shorter than Chewy. If I move him, let's see, I'll put him over here next to Vader and Tarkin and the other trooper. So yes, he's the same size as that trooper, about the same height as Tarkin. Of course, he's shorter than Vader. But man, he's a good looking figure. But for now, I plan on keeping him right here. And I think he looks really good next to the comic version of Leia. I mean, what an awesome little duo there. Two good looking figures side by side on the shelf. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. So bottom line, it's a great looking figure. Yes, it's a stormtrooper, but just the new little added bits here and there just really make this figure. These pouches, yeah, they're a little fiddly sometimes. You know, when you're handling the figure, they tend to slide around, but once you get them positioned, if he's just on the shelf, they're gonna stay put. 
The blue here is very nice. The bright orange on the pauldron is just awesome. Just love that. Saber looks good. And of course, being on this new Stormtrooper body, he holds his blaster very well. Yeah, from head to toe, this is an awesome figure. But I want to hear from you guys. So please comment below and let me know what you think of Sergeant Creel. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.